Yeah, it's been <laughs> incredible season for West Ham. Uh, you must be buzzing. We didn't. I, I thought it could go one or two ways under under Bilic, and I didn't think this was one of the ways. <laughs> if I'm perfectly honest. Look, I, I've done videos at the beginning of the season, so I didn't want him. That's how much I know, you know. Um, <laughs> no, it's it's been magnificent what he's achieved there. Um, it's a pleasure to go then again, you know, and that's 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 all we ask as West Ham fans. We don't expect much. We've had to quite rightly tell you that we haven't won much, but all we. <laughs> West Ham or Everton? Everton. We'll it's get to not, that in a minute. Um, well, in fact, let us know in the comments below who's bigger club, Everton or West Ham, in your opinion. And you probably, if you're under the age of 21, that could be an interesting answer for Ped. Um, go on, mate. I mean, look, ultimately, you, uh, you have to send us a message uh, at the weekend. Tough force. Tough force bang on for you, boys. Yeah, that result yesterday just, just put it... I mean, a couple of weeks ago, we had about three or four games where we should have won them. And the referee got the decisions wrong. There was a, a goal against them guys that should have been that should have stood that would have given us a 4-3 win. A penalty that wasn't a penalty against uh, Everton when when the guy was outside the box. I know you didn't win what the game. Anyway, what are you asked about? But, um, goal difference. No, but I'm just saying it, it, there was about five or six you know, dodgy refereeing decisions that was just <coughs> not going in takes major umbrage of the fans having uh, instances where referees screw them out of stuff. Doesn't, it's not going to hurt your book sales, mate. It's fine. <laughs> sure. Your fans will still I'm buy sure it. we had 10 men that game. Yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah. But things like that, we thought it'd gone. Mm. And then all of a sudden, we've hit another run of form. Um, we absolutely destroyed uh, West Brom at the weekend. And then City losing. And now it all comes down to them guys. If them guys can beat City, and we win our last two games at the Bowling, which are going to be massive, massive games. And the last one against Man United is, 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 is you know, gearing up to be a real... A real game now, if if that happens, you know we could go into the last game of the season in the top four. Does it, it, West Ham one is West Ham are another interesting case for me, um, Robbie. And you know I don't want to keep bringing it back to Arsenal title challenges or whatever. Or even look, Everton and, and us to some extent is that when you've got a club like Leicester City on the verge of winning the title, mm. you've got a team like West Ham United who could be breaking into the top four. Does this put does this increase the pressure on clubs like Liverpool, Arsenal? Everton, because when you when clubs like that who are let's be perfectly honest, even just historically smaller football clubs are able to achieve that, then something must be wrong in our own teams. I mean, I, I think that teams like Leicester, West Ham, that was South, really disrespectful. I didn't mean it to be. It's fine. <laughs> no, 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 no. Southampton, saying. I think they've showed up the elite clubs, the so-called elite clubs this year. They've showed them up. You know, they got they've, snotted by us in the league in the league cup. The yeah, but they, you know they they've been consistent. And then, and then the league. You know, yeah, well, you know they've been consistently good throughout the season. They they've um, beaten the big clubs. You know, I I, I think that you know the, the way in which they've brought players in, the way in which they've played games tactically and that they have showed up. The so-called elite it, team. Look at it, Chelsea this season. Well, we, how bad Chelsea have been. Go on, Pat. I was going to uh, say we've we've shown ourselves up so we don't need anyone else to do that but I would say the, the teams you mentioned there no European football so that's a big bonus for them this season Le I mean I even learned Liverpool played eight games this month and Leicester played four that's a different one thing I would say about West Ham yeah that was sitting here two years ago in exactly the same position going this is amazing not saying that will happen but football can flip very quickly both ways we were sitting here chasing four we beat Arsenal 3-0 I'm thinking we're on here uh, we missed out and then we've just gone ever since. So um, football can flip very quickly either way, but he's doing a brilliant job, Village. He really is. Yeah. You know, I, think, think, I think he's just I think he's just striking while the iron's hot as well. You yeah. know, the move to the stadium's a massive gamble. Yeah. We saw how it affected Arsenal. Even going back to when he's played the European mm. games at Wembley, stuff I mean, like the that. Difference like, you know, is we had to pay for it though. No, 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 of course, so, of course, of course. You know, we had eight years of having to pay for it. They, it they, they're going for free. But there is an impact. We've been paying for it over 100 years. What, what do you want? <laughs> what are you paying? What are you paying for it? Two and a half million a year. Who's paying for it? You. We're paying for it. We're paying for it. We're all paying for it. I mean, no. they've got a right touch with that I can't, I can't. I, you can't fault the ambition, though, and the, and the, the opportunism no. of it. Because, look, it could mm. go badly tits up. I just want to set but, the record straight before we go on. Go on. I just want to set the record straight. The record I've got to say straight. something, because I hear it every week on this about we're happy. from him, From him, mostly, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> We we offered to buy the stadium. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we yeah. offered to buy it. Yeah. Tottenham Tottenham put the stoppers on it. We was ready to buy it. They decided that we could buy it. Tottenham were the ones that said no. We want a bidding process. Okay. Then they decided that they didn't want it to be um, uh, 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 sold. Yeah, so they wanted it to the. Now that's not our fault. 
Come on, we, we How just. How much did you we, offer to buy it for? A pound over No, no, no. We, we offered weeks. to pay back the money that they'd already converted the stadium and the conversion would have been our own. No, hold on. You said you offered to buy the stadium. How yeah. much did you offer for to the same buy amount, it for? For the same amount that they, they, they built it for. It was built for athletics. So yeah. we would have given the money back for the athletics and then the conversion would have been down to ourselves. Okay. It's, it's the LDC that have had to convert it into a football stadium. Now, it's a white elephant, right? I've been to so many places like uh, Barcelona, um, one in Greece, I can't remember where that was, but Athens, yeah? yeah. The stadiums, are, when we went on a, a tour, they said, I'll take you to a tour to the, to the Olympic Stadium in Barcelona. Got to the place, I went, look through the fence, look through the fence, like looking in the jungle. There was trees coming up out of the stands, right? Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that would have happened now, but what that does for the, you know, for the, for, you know, for the taxpayer, I know it's cost a lot of money, I mean, you know, it's ridiculous how much money it's cost. It's ridiculous, yeah. Um, but they're the ones that offered to do it, and they offered to rent it to us. Now that's bringing some money back. That's bringing some money back to it. They get all the catering rights. They've just sold the naming rights, which all goes back to the taxpayer. They all um, obviously get rent off of us. I know that I'd they're paying. This. I wouldn't want that money. I'd just take the, a vote on the naming rights for it instead of having the money. <laughs> should we, do, should we? Can we? Can we force that to do in the it petition? It should be called the Two Cock Stadium. The, tax, <laughs> the taxpayers don't want don't want the money back for the naming rights. We want to name it ourselves. Yeah. But the thing is, Stadium Max Stadium Face. With us in there, it gives <laughs> something back. Yeah. Without us in there, yeah. it would have given nothing back. That's all I'm saying. What does it give back to me? It doesn't give exactly. Anything. It doesn't sure give anything back to me. Absolutely, sure. I'll pay for it as well. It's not back to me. I look. I, I still come back to it, and I say, look, you're in a good, you're in a good place at the moment. You know, the, the, the and you said, look, it's all about timing, isn't it? It is. West Ham. It is. And at a point where they're about to go into a much bigger stadium. You, even if you're on, you don't quite make the Champions League, you're there or thereabouts. Big influx of cash coming in, and the and look, being in London, having somewhere to. You and know, plus, as well, I don't, know, I don't know if you guys, if either of you guys have been to the stadium. Well, I mean, I went there yeah. for. I, I, I've been there for when the Olympics was on and and I used to work near the stadium as well in Stratford and I can tell you that that whole area, the amount of money they've spent around there, the infrastructure, Westfield, the train links and that, it's like probably the best place to be now in London because the train links to there from anywhere in the UK, it's unreal. It's going to be a completely different to when West Ham are at Upton Park, which yeah. is like a really... Difficult ground to get to. Only one tube station. The the road links are terrible. This place, I think, it, it, you know, I think I, I can see like a billionaire looking at that and thinking, oh, I'd be like primed to can buy. Can I just ask a question for you, Robbie? Because uh, you've, you've experienced it firsthand. Could West Ham lose out on something by moving away from the Berlin ground? Yeah, you can. You can. You know, we, we all know you get the problems with the atmosphere, and um, you know, l like you said earlier, Ped. Um, you know, you, you you can have fans that you've sat with for years and years and years, and you move into a new stadium. When Arsenal did it, when you moved into the new stadium, it was a great idea at the time. They said go and choose wherever you want to sit, etc. But there was no thought process that went into how do we keep people together or the atmosphere yeah. and that. I think West Ham have been trying to. Um, in the way they're doing it, they're trying to um, see ways around that and how they can improve prove that. But you do initially lose that, you know. And then, of course, it's a much bigger stadium, so you get an influx of a lot of new fans who come in. And, you know, those new fans, they're still learning about the, the club and, you know, the songs. And the, you know, so you I wasn't do... expecting such a well-oiled response to this, Robbie. It's almost like you've, 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 pre you've, you've thought about this a lot. No, no, well, I see, no, it's just a something, it's something that I see, yeah. right? So, you know, City have had it in, in their stadium. And mm. it, most people who move into a new stadium, especially when it's a big, and, they, and, and the Olympic Stadium is a big stadium. Yeah. Those problems do come, you know. I mean, you, but your you, toilets won't smell as much of piss. Which is, <laughs> no, which but is yeah, a good move because exactly. I can tell you, I've failed the main stuff. The, the thing that worries me about it is, um, and I've always been a bit worried about this, but maybe you can ease my concerns. When you first move in now, obviously we've never played there. Yeah, the team's never played there. So when you start a season, you, you're basically starting the season in mm. a neutral ground. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know we'll have our fans there, and but the atmosphere is going to be different. It's mm. going to be a new feel for the players. The pitch is going to be different. The, you know where their families are sitting is going to be different. You know it's it's that, it, it, like playing cup final every week. But yeah. you know, and I will tell you what happens, right? Yeah. Every team that comes to your ground, right? All of a sudden, it's like they're going to Wembley. Yeah. So every I know that every fan I speak to, like 
they look forward to coming to the Emirates. <laughs> because, you know... So, like, you've got an eye opinion of yourselves. No, but no, listen, listen, oh, listen no. this is not... This is not a high opinion, right? It's that when you go to... You we, there! We, you there! Poor person! Come see our great stadium! This is like the world the final! Final! It's like Wembley! Listen, listen. You right? ever been to the final? I think the Emirates is better than Wembley, by the way. But when, when not a lot of teams go to them sort of... <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, I, I'm being honest. It is a better stadium than Wembley. It is impressive. Wembley, right? It's an but impressive stadium. Which, but what I'm is saying more is... more impressive than Wembley? I've never been to Wembley. Oh, Where you there? Have you got a statue? We've got 47. <laughs> Who's your Lee Dixon statue? <laughs> well, like I said, right, fans, they look forward to going to these stadiums. So they're going to look forward to going to the Olympic Stadium. Yeah. So, and there's going to be a lot of away fans, you know, because there'll be a bigger allocation for them. It will be harder mm. for West Ham yeah, to play out there to start off with. better or worse than your stadium? Be better than what I, I haven't seen what it's going to look like because I, I'm, I'm still trying to get my head around how they're going to convert it. But it's a I, I've been there and as an uh, as for the Olympics, I it think was a, Tottenham's it was a fantastic be stadium, it's a brilliant stadium. I think Tottenham's and West Ham stadium. Why is be Tottenham going to be better? <laughs> I just think, it's got, I just think <laughs> Tottenham, it's got more seats than it's yours, still in it? the same area. It's got man. more seats, though, hasn't it? it? It's, got, it's got a better attendance. It's going to be well. I, 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 Tottenham are going to have no, no, more attendance. Ted, Ted, listen, I'm going to be really honest with this now, right? Yeah, I think. Tottenham have you been lying to us up to this point? That's a concern. <laughs> no, because yeah, you know, we're talking yeah. about Tottenham now. So I don't... But Tottenham have really lost out. That's why they were desperate to get the, Stra the stadium in Stratford because it's not just the stadium. It's all the infrastructure and everything that comes with it. Yeah. It's all there and complete and ready to go at West Ham. Just like at Arsenal, they've got like four tube stations. At Tottenham, it's still going to be in the same place. Yeah. It's still one of the most difficult, difficult stadiums to get to in the whole of the UK. That's not going to change. It's going to be worse now with I the amount of people. I'm having a problem getting to, getting to White Hart Lane. No, <laughs> you speak to Tottenham fans. Even they complain <laughs> about getting there. The queues for the station. They haven't even got an underground yeah, station. For a while yeah. on the way but back to there. Yeah, no, and, there's, and there's no stadiums right, real nearby. So well, that's because all their fans stay till the end, yeah. don't they? Uh, rather yeah. than like <laughs> to get the queue. Same with Arsenal, but everyone hangs around with the key. Uh, the for Robbie? Yeah. yeah. For Robbie, yeah. <laughs> they all have their own seats for their iPads as right. well. So, so, before we wrap this segment, we'll move wood. on. That's the only way it's made out of wood. That's right. Ask the question of the people there, what's the top four going to be this season? This season? Yeah, at West Ham going to be here. Just take one of my questions for later. No, okay. <laughs> I think the top four is going to be what the top four is now. Okay. True. You know what? I'll, I'll let Chris ask the question. Have a little think on that. We'll make sure we've got a proper response. Is that better? Yeah, that's cool. Excellent, right, Chris. To wrap up this topic, we're going to go over to, to social okay, media centre. Ross, AFC, West Ham Deserve, top four. Uh, Persil's, Persil Capoo. I'm sorry, mate. I'm really sorry. Top four will stay as it is. Cockerlang Tang, is that how you say it? Cockerlang Ting. No chance they'll finish fourth. Matthew Maguire, who's clearly a West Ham fan, watch us in a few seasons. Um, Sean Rush, one season, a free stadium, don't make you boss. <laughs> So I think Sean's pretty much just told you there. And West Ham at United. <laughs> and West Ham at United. West Ham will become a bigger club than Arsenal, let alone Everton, who are always going to be in Liverpool's shadow and can't make the top six with Lukaku and Barkley.